guys, it's Amy. Today I have a review video for you. A lot of you guys have been asking me about the Palm Springs backpack mini size and how I've been liking it and so forth. So whenever I get those questions, I try to answer them in my Q&As anyway, but uh, it's been eight months since I have this bag and I really enjoy using it. It does have its pros and cons. So I thought I would do a comprehensive review for you guys. As usual, before I get started, I am wearing uh, this cutesy off-the-shoulder top. Uh, it has really nice flared, um, roughly really oversized sleeves and it's kind of flowy, asymmetrical with a longer hem on the back and I really love it. It's super cute. I styled it with my brooch right here to give it a little bit more of a, um, I guess, a little bit more interest. And also, it was kind of defective when I got it. They actually kind of uh, pulled the fabric here a little bit. So the elastic here is not straight. So that's why I also styled it with it so that it kind of hides it but uh, it actually works out pretty well. Like I said in my last video, I did get a new haircut and I was gonna show you how it looks like when it's straight, when I style it straight. So I did ask for a slanted cut, so shorter in the back and longer in the front. I hope that you can see it, but basically my the back hair is a little shorter and the front is longer. So the cut is slanted like this. Uh, and so basically that's what I asked for. I didn't ask for uh, any layerings. I asked for a bit of texture at the bottom so that it doesn't just puff up, although I don't have that much hair. So it doesn't puff up that much. When I do bring all my hair to the front, uh, you will see that uh, the pieces in the back is a bit shorter and then it goes longer like that. Back to the review. So I bought this mini bag in August 2016, so it has been eight months now. Very quickly, this is the front of the bag, the side, the back, with four little uh, D-rings for different adjustments, the top with the really nice handle, and the bottom. So it features this small pocket in the front as well with a straight zipper and you can possibly put something in it. It's very hard to reach. And I don't really, I don't really open it ever. <laughs> the inside features this nylon uh, fabric. It is a thicker nylon fabric. It's very nice. It doesn't pill or anything. And also in the very back, you'll see the um, made in stamp. Mine is made in France. There also is a small pocket in the very back, which I you can probably not see. And the decode is on the left side of the pocket, or depending on how you look at it. If you look at it like this, then it's on the right side of the pocket. And the little pocket there is easy to reach if your bag is empty, but hard, very hard to reach if you have your bag full. So I rarely use it as well. 15 centimeters by 19 centimeters or 21 and a half centimeters in the back and the width is 10 centimeters so in inches it will be six inches by seven and a half inches or eight and a half inches and uh, the depth is four inches so the emily wallet is exactly seven and a half inches in length and that is also why it fits in the back if you try to fit a full-size wallet in this little bag. I do have mine uh, decorated with this little charm which I bought from eBay and a lot of you have asked me about it too so I will make sure to link it down below. I bought mine for I can't remember but I think it's it's really inexpensive it's really good quality it's a good size. I do find that by adding a little charm on your zipper pull it does make it slightly easier to open and close. Um, I typically don't mind using my bag completely open actually, but uh, I do close it from time to time, especially in really crowded area, or sometimes I kind of close it halfway, kind of like this. I like to either leave my zipper pull here or here 
to make sure that my um, charm dangles on the side and I have no issues using it kind of semi-open sometimes because it's still kind of hard to reach in but if you're in a sa unsafe area or in a very crowded area and you're just kind of worried about your content uh, then it's not so hard to close it it does take a conscious effort it does take you know a few seconds to do it but it's it's not so hard to do it. Uh, of course, if it was a straight zipper, it would have been really, really easy to do, but this, you kind of have to go around. This piece here is just plastic. It doesn't look like plastic, but it is just plastic. So uh, I haven't noticed any damage on the zipper pull from using it on my bag, but I will remove it for now. For me, this bag is super comfortable and lightweight. I was so surprised at how much uh, and how often I loved reaching for it i think it is very stylish it's very trendy but it's also um it goes with almost everything the design is very squishy and uh when you wear it you also feel that squishiness on you because it does have some padding here on the back and on the bottom uh, and because it is so squishy and flexible it tends to you tend to be able to play with the space a bit more and it actually has a great capacity despite its deceptive size it has the size of my head basically but it actually does fit quite a bit you can use it with or without charms uh, i normally am not a big fan of charms but i actually really find that furry little charm goes really really well with this bag because i think the style is so playful so i don't mind using a charm on this bag but you'll notice that none of my other bags have any charms on them and i'm totally fine with that i normally i'm very minimalist i like to keep my bags just the way they are i don't like to modify them i think in terms of wear and tear it has been good to me but i can point out some places that i know will wear more quickly and also have been problematic for some other people. A lot of people are having issues with these leather pieces on the edges where there is either fraying of the leather or uh, on these pieces here in the back, the loops, there is fraying and uh, fabric from, I guess, the inside lining just fraying out and coming out. Uh, I do see some myself. I don't really baby my bags per se, but I don't um you know i make it a point to use my bags when i feel like it i i don't particularly try to protect it per se unless i was trying to avoid a wall or something or avoid people with it so then i will grab it and then you know put it in front of me but other than that i i will just wear it and i will just you know enjoy it and all so uh to see this kind of thing happen i don't know i i mean it's not too bad for eight months and uh, it doesn't bother me at this point but I, I know that one of my good friend hers was fraying quite a bit and it seemed like even the whole tab here was kind of pulling out a bit and I don't know what kind of content she has in hers but um, that's something that can happen and similarly on this one loop in the bottom I haven't really used this loop that often I did use it sometimes from this to this end like I sometimes kind of wear it across with this loop and uh yeah i do see that so that's something that will happen in terms of this little strap here it has softened up quite a bit as you can see um and it's very comfortable and because this bag is on the smaller side the maximum that i can ever load it is not that much which i will also show you what i usually fit in this bag um and the wear and tear on this is as per expected because of these loops here if you keep on readjusting your your strap then yes you will get more wear on where the little adjustment holes are so i would say once you've uh realized which height you prefer or which drop you prefer on your bag to stop <laughs> keep on changing them it does come with two sets of these straps anyway so you might want to just make one longer and one shorter for winter time and one for summer time when you're dressing less so that you don't get as much wear on one strap in particular for this mini size in particular this front pocket here this small front pocket here is pretty much useless um i i don't i have never ever you know open and close this to reach for things that I put inside i mean i do have a couple of things inside but they are my emergency lip balm and um i do put an sd card in there like a very small capacity one 
because I do forget my SD card sometimes so I do have that inside but I have almost never opened this front pocket to reach for it and that's because it's very hard to get into like you can see right now it's empty so it's easier it's useless practicality wise but it's it does serve you know our purpose it makes it look nice it makes it look cute <laughs> like I said the wear and tear is quite minimal for me I haven't seen or noticed a lot of fraying on my leather the tabs like I said I'm careful but I don't super baby my bags and I'm not afraid to stuff it uh, so all of my pieces then you know they look good to me uh, my strap does have a bit of fraying on the stitches but that is to be expected because it, unless you don't wear the strap unless you don't use it unless you don't wear it crossbody then of course nothing will happen and like I said these adjustments they do um, you know loosen up and all that if you keep on changing the settings I just keep it as is I wear it in the middle that's the setting that I found to you know to suit me in in all of the bags usually uh, and these little fraying on the tabs here in the in, in the loops here in the back doesn't bother me i think it's normal wear and tear it's not to the point where i see it breaking apart or anything so it's fine and of course the canvas is super durable i have no issues with the canvas and speaking of the canvas i think the construction of this bag and the design itself is super well thought out if you notice all of the seams all around anywhere basically all around even the flap front the back uh, the bottom every seam is tucked inside it's super well made in my opinion it's very well thought out and especially if you notice this front pocket here it has these rounded edges to fold in a, a rounded edge and to sew it and to make it hidden uh, to make this the raw edge hidden is such a I mean, it's it's a harder thing to do to make nice so it's it's really well thought out It's really well made and also I think these little leather tabs do serve a purpose in Hiding the corners here because when you have a sharp corner like this It's very easy to see where the because they have to kind of cut the fabric diagonally to tuck in the each side and so I think this kind of serves a purpose of hiding that very small raw edge that you might see the hardware is doing very well as well uh, I do notice that um, for a lot of bags now like including the speedy that the d-rings are not the shiny same gold hardware as the clasp for some reason their clasp and their uh, rivets here and all this and the zipper poles they're all very shiny and a very nice darker gold but the d-rings are more of a matte gold any pieces that i go into the store to look at um, and consider i always look at how well made it is it's been too many times where i have seen uh, the exact same bag but in two different instances or a few different instances and then one of them is always better than the other so for this one i had to say no to this to this bag several times because I was I just wasn't happy with how well aligned this, these uh, flowers were and motifs and I wasn't happy with the stitching be a little being a little crooked when I choose something like this and when I pay for something like this I just expect it to be quite flawless or near flawless so I did I refused several instances of this very bag and the price went up by the time I bought this one but I'm very happy that I waited and that I got the exact one that I you know that I felt comfortable with I also looked at the zipper whether it was smooth or not I know that you can use wax paper on the zipper to make it better but there is just nothing better the feeling nothing better than choosing the one that right off the bat is perfect in your like it's perfect for you when you looked at it that you felt really comfortable with even if I know I can fix the wax uh, the zipper with the wax I just felt like if it was smooth right off the bat that it would be even smoother if I you know one day decide to add wax to the zipper and that is you know I think that is a legitimate uh, you know concern because Yes, it could be just that the metal is just a bit rough, but it also could be that they're sewing. Because it's such a small bag, there's so much detail, uh, attention to detail to such a small bag that a little bit of offness 
or if you're a little bit off I guess it just makes a difference in terms of how perfect it is so like I even noticed that sometimes the seam here is very very tight some of them that I saw the the seam here is even tighter and it kind of scrunches up a little bit and so this one was you know it was borderline getting to that part but it's still straight enough that I didn't mind it and so those are the things that I you know normally look at I never thought that I would like it that much especially because at the beginning I wasn't a fan of it just from you know from I guess the point of view of you know how expensive it was and how I thought maybe I don't know that it would be too trendy that it's it's just a really small bag with such a small opening that it wouldn't it wouldn't be something that I would want to reach for but it turned out to be exactly the opposite I really loved reaching for it it's such a comfortable bag to wear uh, to me this one and my twice are ones of my most top favorite bags just because of how easy and how carefree and how um, how much I just reach for them. Sometimes you just can't really explain why uh, a bag or, or a certain design works so well and that you covet them so much. Just like the classic flaps from Chanel, sometimes you just can't explain why. I guess you can't explain but you kind of can't explain at the same time why they make your heart sing so much and why you like reaching for them so much. So this is kind of like one of them where you kind of know why but you kind of don't know why because it's very um, counterintuitive that a mini bag like this would be loved so much and being that it is more of a mini bag just made in the shape of backpack I don't really even consider it as a backpack anyways having had it for a while and having used it for a while and um, if I had to like you know pick a few bags out of my collection that I really love carrying on a daily basis this would be definitely one of them and I think also it does elevate uh, it does elevate any outfits uh, especially on the casual side it just makes everything so much more fun and so much more um, I don't know uplifting if that makes any sense I've also been asked that between this bag and my twice um, they probably would fit about the same amount the t twice to me still fits a bit more because um i like using my mini pochette in the twice and the mini pochette fits so much and i just put it in the front compartment if you want to see what i fit in my twice bag just check out my last video because i did a what's in my bag this fits a little less although it can accommodate this about the same amount it's just that this one i prefer not using the mini pochette and you'll see why in an instant if i were to choose between the two it's gonna be quite hard i will still choose the twice first because that one is just perfect in any sense it's most practical very easy and uh, easy to match, easy to um, retrieve things and all that. Uh, this one is just slightly more difficult to retrieve things and um, it is kind of a little black hole. I mean it's small but it's still a little black hole so that's just... it just made this a close second in terms of uh, which one I would pick first or which one I would pick over the other if I could only buy one. Between this and like a mini flap from Chanel, I actually enjoy using this a lot more. From a practicality standpoint, the mini flaps is just still too small in my opinion. You can, you really have to downsize whereas with this, you still have to downsize but it's, it's such a great downsizing size that uh, you can work with this so much easier and so much more comfortably. I'm just going to demonstrate that the Emily wallet will fit but it will fit very very snugly in the back. So it will fit in the very back because the exact height of the bag is the exact length of this uh, wallet and also because you, you see I'm kind of like pulling it, tugging it. Not easily retrievable and all that even though you can fit it in it so I don't recommend it. You can also fit your mini pochette and it doesn't look super cumbersome or anything at this point but I feel like with more things inside the mini pochette is not the perfect small pouch to carry in this bag so I do prefer using a different pouch. And the one that I would actually uh, typically use as a drunk drawer for this bag is this small pouch which is the uh, Longchamp coin pouch actually and here are the dimensions 
it, it's a huge difference. It, they they both fit everything that I need because this one has the width. I've seen a lot of videos where people line up their items straight like this. It, it's gonna work for the beginning, but once you take things in and out, especially if you're me, you take things in and out, it's gonna start jumbling inside. Um, so it's not gonna be super neat by the time you finish you know at the end of your night it's not going to be that way but i'll just show you how i you know this is just the neat way of packing it but at the end of the day it won't be so let's just assume that this is my camera because i always usually do carry my camera i typically have my keys as well i typically have my card case which is pretty much my wallet i always have my phone of course it's in and out all the time so it half of the time when i'm done using my phone i put it back this way but for the purpose of this video, I will just leave it nice and tucked in like that. And of course, I will need my car keys. So let's just put it there, nicely tucked. And so really, it this is this is a lot of things, but it's it's a it's a comfortable fit. You can possibly bring another shopping bag just in case. And what I like to do if I want to bring a shopping bag is I actually leave it at the very bottom of the bag so these things will just sit higher. Sometimes also bring my sunnies. I kind of like just put it on top like that. And so yeah, this this is a comfortable fit. This is the maximum of things I will ever carry in this bag because any more or well any less is good but any more you just kind of really it's hard to take it out and put it back inside and try to find it again so this is this is my my personal sort of you know i have everything i need and everything is in there and of course it will be messy at the end of the day but it's still easy enough, you know, to for me to get in and out of. And yeah, like I said, my phone usually just sits like this actually. Cause I reach for it all the time, right? So this is this is my how I fit and what I fit inside my bag. It is a very expensive bag and it's not something that is, you know, you must have it or whatnot, but it is a very surprising bag for me. I I surprisingly comfortable surprisingly um, enjoyable to use and to to style with and I, I don't like to buy things just to style with because if it's not comfortable and if I don't reach for it then it's there's no point in owning it for me that's how I look at it but for some reason it was surprising in that regard it was surprisingly practical surprisingly comfortable very surprising how much I just um, love reaching for it it, it's so easy. I, I take it to the grocery, I take it to the park, I take it to, um, I don't know, meeting up with friends. Yeah, it's one of those bags. It's one of those bags where you don't have to own it because it's it's just a small bag and there's tons of other small bags that are easy to use, easy to reach and all that. But it's just that extra, something you cannot explain that you know I really love the, about this bag that um, I, I think it has uh, proven worthwhile to get if that makes sense so uh, if you're on the fence i do recommend it if you're on the fence because you want something different i do recommend it so yeah that's my review i hope it was helpful thank you so much for watching my name is amy if you're new to my channel welcome and i hope that you stick around and subscribe to my channel so that you won't miss any of my future videos talk to you again very soon bye